So what we're going to do is we're going to actually try out these two brushes that I have recently ordered just arrived and honestly they caught my eye on Instagram. Uh, I saw a lot of bloggers actually use it in their tutorials and um, I was just intrigued by them and I thought why not give them a try. The first brush is from this company called Eloise or Eloise. I'm not sure um, if I'm pronouncing it right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is actually a teardrop brush and I've got it in the rose gold finish. Um, they, they had I think two or three options. They had one in silver I think and the other one was gold and then they had the rose gold one. So obviously guys I went for the rose gold one. That's no brainer. I love everything rose gold. So they've got some notes in the back and let me just read it out to you. So what it is is basically this beautiful shaped teardrop brush was designed for precision control and flawless application and the some the ergonomic the ergonomic what the hell does ergonomic mean the study of people's efficiency in the working environment is what ergonomics mean i have no idea what that means anyway moving on so the ergonomic shape with a domed handle comfortably allows you to apply any product to the contours of your face especially under the eyes um, the brush is densely packed with over a million animal free cashmere like super soft bristles to ensure more products on the face, less absorption while simultaneously giving brush glow you deserve. It's great for application for foundation, concealer, bronzer, blusher, highlighting, finishing powder, skin care. Okay, and it doesn't say where it's being made but you know, I've got it from EloisBeauty.com and I'm sorry if I'm still pronouncing it wrong but I have no idea how to pronounce this brand. Um, so inside it comes in with this um, cover so that's something that's great because I always feel like these brushes they get dirty very easily and I don't like to keep it open. I don't want any of my brushes to have like dust or bacteria on it and we all know it does. It causes you to have a lot of breakouts like I am having but it's kind of getting better and I think I know what's working but I'm not going to share it with you guys because I want it to actually work. Like I want it to actually get rid of my acne completely and then I'm going to actually disclose what I've been using so stay tuned for that. Let me just take out the brush and reveal it to you. So this is what the brush looks like from the inside. It's really, really thickly dense. And um, and then it has this handle over here, which is actually very comfortable um, to hold and press on. It feels very soft as well. It's in a teardrop shape, as you can see. I want to know the size of it. This is what the size is as compared to my hand. So this is the first brush that I'm going to try on today um, and then we're going to compare this to the other brush which is it's none other than the mermaid brush that's been going viral on Instagram and YouTube here and I wanted to personally get my hands on this and try it myself whether it really works or not. To be honest, I haven't seen that many positive reviews about this brush but I, pers I thought it was such a cute little brush that I wanted to just give it a try. Let me just tell you where I got this brush from. It's from an Australian website called mermaidsalon.com.au and on their website this retails for $16. I think this is $16 Australian dollars. I'm not too sure. And this comes in a variety of different colors and I got in the rose gold color which I'm looking at their website it is out of stock. In fact all of their brushes are out of stock except the silver one so it seems like it's a very popular brush. It says on the website, use this versatile bad boy to apply your liquid foundation, concealer, and also carve out your perfect cheekbone and contour. It actually came with a free liquid lipstick, which um, is again from Mermaid Salon. Uh, this is like a metallic fuchsia color, which I would like to try. This one retails for 40 pounds. It's actually 39.99 pounds, which is almost 40 pounds. So this one is really expensive as compared to this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try this brush on one half of my face and this brush on the other half. And we're also going to try to blend our concealer, contour, and maybe try to bake with them. You know, the possibilities are endless. I'm really curious as to which one would perform. So let's begin with this tutorial and put some face makeup on because I look like a crazy mess at the moment and this eye makeup is not helping me at all. We're gonna be testing out these two brushes. I'm not gonna be using any new product. I'm gonna stick to my old basics. 
uh, which I know always work for me and I think that way I can actually, actually truly test if these brushes do work or not. I'm going to keep the teardrop brush for the right side of my face and we're going to use the mermaid brush for the left side of the foundation I'll be going for today is my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation and I'm in the shade Ikru. One of my top favorite foundations of life. I mean, I can never go wrong with it. It always works for me whether it's winter, summer, day or night. It is the best. Okay, I'm just going to use my fingers. Okay. The box doesn't give me any instruction as to how to use this brush, so I'm just going to try to tap and then rub it on my skin. It feels very soft and it definitely gets into the corners of my nose. Okay, I just realized I fall off under my eyes. I'm sorry if I've been like talking for the longest time with with like pink eyeshadow on my lower lash line. So I'm sorry for that guy. Have this brush. I am so impressed um, with the way it's applied my foundation. I mean, did you guys just see how easily this just spread over my skin? And it get, also gave me a lot of coverage. This is so thick. I, all I had to do was just rub it across my face and it gave me the best coverage that I've ever got and it's actually just blended in the foundation for me which is amazing like I love it I have shape is so good because it's so easy to get on the corner of my nose and even like this small area my like my upper lip and even like just underneath my eyes which has really exceeded my expectations and I think it's given some tough competition to the mermaid brush so let's move on to the other side of the face Let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so my first impression on this brush is that I do think that it works as a face brush um, and also to apply your foundation. However, I feel like it's, it takes a little longer as compared to the other brush because, because the surface size of the teardrop brush is like three times as compared to the mermaid brush. Um, and also because of the way the bristles are, I mean, this is like, I don't know, they're flat and these are just they're pointy on that end and then they're flat on this end so that doesn't give you that much space actually to blend out your foundation however i do feel like this brush works um i saw someone's review of here um and i think that person said that this brush definitely fails does not work for application of foundation or contour or whatever it promises that it does that's the reason why i like to review products myself um and not go by all the reviews that I see on YouTube here because you know sometimes things may work for me and it may not work for the other person but that doesn't make that person wrong or me right I felt like this one gave a lot more coverage as compared to this one um, I have a lot more spots and acne on this side of the face where I used this brush as compared to this side um, but I still feel like I can see some of my scars over here as compared to this one I mean it actually gave me a lot more coverage uh, go ahead and apply our second layer of foundation uh, before moving on to cream contouring and highlighting. So just to actually add more notes to my opinion about these two brushes, now the left side of my face where I've used the mermaid brush, I feel like I it kind of have left some strokes on my face. Um, because of that, it doesn't look that flawless as compared to my right side of the face. I feel like there are no brush strokes at all and it just looks like it looks very flawless and even. Um, so far, I feel like this is my favorite brush, but let's go ahead and highlight and contour our face before I give you my final verdict.
hands are tired, like I feel like I'm using so much more energy with this brush. In my next contour and highlight palette, and I'm actually going to pick up the mix the banana and the vanilla shade from the palette. Okay, it does work. Let's use the mammoth brush to mix these two. Go ahead and set my full face with my Maybelline Matte Maker, and I feel like this brush is going to take a lot more longer do that so I'm just going to use my Eloise brush. Wow, give me so much more coverage and it's so fast. Okay, that's amazing. It's matte bronzer in medium. My Clinique blush in Peach Pop. Okay guys, yeah, so I went ahead and completed my face um, and as you can see, um, I'm not sure why I stopped. I went ahead and completed my face and I thought I'll just come back and give my final wording on both of these brushes. Now you did see me use these brushes for cream contouring and highlighting and even for powder contouring and highlighting. I even tried to go, I even baked my under eyes and my face with these brushes and I think I tried to apply blush, but that's when I felt like, okay, I need to give up now because I don't have the patience anymore to use these brushes. Because in real life, I don't normally use the same brush for everything. Honestly, I do really like both of these brushes. I feel like I can't choose one of them, but I will, I will however, say that there is definitely one brush that definitely stands out more than the other brush. And with no surprise, the Eloise teardrop brush impressed and blown away with how easily this brush blended my foundation in the first instance and that's exactly what I expect when I'm paying a high price for a product. This brush is definitely worth the hype and it's a very nice comfortable brush um, and, and the packaging is just beautiful. It really does work for concealer, for contour, for um, applying face powder, making for a lot of different things and for the other mermaid brush I feel like it, the reason why I like this brush is because I actually had no expectations out of this brush because I saw a lot of reviews here on YouTube. So these reviews were actually negative. It is, it is worth the money that you're spending. I mean, you're spending a very small amount of money for this brush. Um, it leaves a little strokes on your face. Trust me, a lot of high-end brushes do that. Uh, I feel like some of my MAC brushes do that. Um, so I feel like it, as long as you set your face, those lines don't show and it doesn't show anymore. They've, um, my face looks as good as good as my right side of the face so i don't feel that much of a difference um however i did feel it took me a lot longer to blend my foundation because obviously this brush is tiny as compared to this brush um apart from the cute packaging i think it does really work I applied my powder contour very very well i actually kept my brush flat when i was applying my powder contour and i feel the diff the mistake that people were making were actually going straight like that and i kind of went like that and that gave me a very good um, application. Um, now that's ex exactly what I did with this brush. I went with the hard edge over here and I and stamped it on my face and I'm sure you guys saw that it gave me that sharp 
um, contour it was so much difficult for me to blend it because I think the initial application was wrong I should have probably used the um, this side the smaller side of the brush um, to apply my powder contour and that would have given me a much better application I don't regret purchasing any of these two brushes at all um, but I do feel like this one's definitely the winner and something that I'll be gravitating more towards um, and this is something that I'll probably use for more of like powder contouring um, uh, and probably just cleaning out the edges or blending my nose contour um, so I do feel like it's like a win-win situation for me but if you do want to choose one brush, I recommend the Eloise brush it's definitely worth the money that you're spending in. so that's it for me guys I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression slash review kind of video if you want to see more of such reviews then do leave me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit on the subscribe button which should be my face towards the end of this video and um, yeah that's it guys I'll be back with more tutorials very soon until then guys take care of yourself and uh, stay tuned